Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today on Cooking Up Love, we are making an easy crock pot beef birria recipe. This is a really flavorful Mexican stew that cooks all day until the beef is super tender and juicy. Then just serve it up in bowls topped with all of the good stuff like pickled onions, queso fresco, cilantro, avocado, or make birria tacos, and then dip it in the consomme. They're rich and juicy and very delicious. Take a look at our ingredients, and I've also listed them in the entire recipe in the description box below. I'm using two ancho and about five guajillo chili pods that have been washed really, really well. Clean the chilies, just crack them open, take off the stems and the dried veins, and then shake out the seeds. And if you're sensitive to chilies, wear gloves for this part. Once all the chilies have been deseeded, cover them with water and bring it to a boil. Then remove the pot from heat and let the chilies soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna let them soak while I prepare the rest of the ingredients so that they can soften. Roughly chop about a half of a large onion and add it to a blender or a food processor. My garlic cloves are really big today, so I'm using two large cloves. You can also use four smaller garlic cloves. Peel these and add them to the blender. Next, add the spices. One teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon Mexican oregano, one teaspoon ground black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon cinnamon. Add a 14 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes and two teaspoons of better than beef bouillon. After about 10 or 15 minutes, the chilies will be softened. Add the chilies into the blender with about a cup of the soaking liquid. Then cover and puree this mixture until it's really, really smooth, which will be about two or three minutes. We wanna make sure all of the chili skins get pureed. Next for the beef, I'm using about a four pound chuck roast and I'm going to trim off all of the hard fat around the edges. The marbling on the inside is going to give it lots of really good flavor. If you're new to our channel, we will show you how to make homemade food that's easy and delicious and perfect for sharing with everyone you love. I'd love to have you join us every week when we share new recipes. Subscribe to find out when we posted a new one. Season it generously with salt and pepper and then heat about a tablespoon of oil in a large skillet so that we can sear the beef on both sides. Once the beef has been seared and has nice color, remove it and place it into the bottom of the crock pot. Pour the chili puree mixture into the skillet and cook it for about two minutes on medium heat. then pour this over the top of the roast. And this is the consistency that we're looking for. Now I'm going to add one cup of water and two bay leaves. I don't add a lot more water because the beef will release juices as it cooks. And this will make a really rich and flavorful broth. Cover the crock pot and cook this on low for about six to eight hours. While the birria is cooking, I'm going to make some quick pickled red onions for our stew and tacos. Thinly slice about a half of a red onion, and I'm going to add some jalapeno slices for a bit of spiciness. Add a half cup of water and a half cup of white vinegar. Add a half teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of oregano and four tablespoons of sugar and mix this all together. If you wanna make a bigger batch of pickled onions, just double or triple this recipe. Bring the mixture to a boil over medium heat and let it simmer for about three minutes. Then remove it from the heat and let it cool. Once the onions are cool, drain them from the liquid and transfer the onions to the refrigerator so that they can chill. After six or eight hours, the meat will be done and look how incredibly tender this is. This is now ready to be shredded you can use two forks or your fingers to shred the meat. I'm removing and discarding any fat and gristle that I find. Once the beef is shredded, it can be added back into the consomme to be served as stew. 
We like to serve ours with avocado, ranchero cheese, cilantro, and lots of pickled onions. To serve the birria as tacos, I'm adding about a tablespoon of oil to a skillet. When the pan and the oil are hot, dip the corn tortillas into the birria broth, and then add it to the skillet to fry, about a minute on each side. For the tacos, I add some of the consomme to the shredded beef. Then we like to add onions and cilantro, red onions and some lime juice, and the consomme. It smells amazing and it tastes so good. Serve consomme on the side to dip the tacos into. It's rich and juicy and so delicious. If you like this recipe, consider sharing our channel with a friend. And if you love to entertain, here's some recipes I think you'll like. Alright, I will see you in the next video.